Hello and welcome. I'm Jeremy Searle and today I'm going to talk about one-way streets in Montreal. In the background you'll see some footage of the very wide Chamonix Street in downtown Montreal near Atwater. You'll see that it's very, very large, quite sufficient for two-way traffic, but only one-way traffic uh, using it. Now that means, of course, that traffic going between Sherbrooke and St. Catherine Street loses one potential route. It can only go north on Chamonix, not south, even though there's plenty of room for traffic in two directions. Back in the 1950s and 60s, for that matter, virtually every street, and certainly this one in Montreal, were two-way. And we posed the question, why were the two-way streets made one way? And of course, the answer is, back then the traffic department threw up their hands, gave up uh, from the point of view of trying to control what they saw as increasingly bad driving habits, aggressive, and encouraged the aggressive driving habits because, of course, on a one-way street, the bad driver, the speeder, the cell phone, coffee drinking, scoff law, can drive much faster with a sense of greater security because, of course, they've got more space on either side of their vehicle, whereas the greatest security, the best traffic-taming device you have is oncoming traffic. On a street like Chamonix you see in the background, nobody's going to be speeding up there when they've got traffic coming the other way. Still with plenty of clearance space, but it slows the traffic down. Nobody wants a head-on collision with another piece of metal. So that's Chamonix Street in downtown Montreal, and if you look around, you'll find that virtually every street you see could be two-way. Two Not all of them, but virtually every one of them with room for parking on both sides as well. That's because they were built to accommodate two-side parking. They were built to accommodate two-way traffic. The result we have is that greater pollution, greater congestion, because of course by having a one-way street instead of a two-way street you've effectively turned two lanes of traffic into one lane of traffic. That means instead of uh, a kilometer of two-way street giving you two kilometers of usable road surface, by making it a one-way street now you only have one kilometer of usable road surface. If you drive, you know how you have to waste time going north to go south or south to go north, etc., etc. And also, you might agree that the best functioning streets in the city, the Sherbrooke streets, the uh, René Levesque, the Tarabans, Summerleds, the list goes on, are generally the two way streets. There's greater respect uh, for, for the traffic each direction. It's safer for everybody. The scarier, nastier streets are the one-way streets, such as the Maisonneuve, uh, where the traffic speeds along. So one-way streets equal greater traffic congestion, longer trip distances, which means greater air pollution, and greater danger for pedestrians and motorists, for that matter, because traffic is encouraged to go faster and be less responsible. If we really want to uh, uh, tame the traffic in Montreal, make things safer for, for pedestrians, bicyclists, motors, one of the first obvious easy things to do is to turn most of those streets back from one way to two way. At least let's try it here and there and see what the results are. I believe that everybody will be happily, favorably impressed. Something to consider. And thank you for your time today. Good day.